This is the look of the Pogara gold mine after it stopped operation in 2019 when the developer's license expired. A visit to the mine site was done yesterday by the Kumul Mineral Holdings Limited team, landowners' representative, sports minister Don Polia, and Jimmy Maladina alongside the mine managers. This mine was closed about three, three and a half years ago, and with the guidance of um, Prime Minister James Marape and the uh, landowners and also the Anga provincial government, they've negotiated with Barrack. It took them a long, hard negotiation. It wasn't easy. Um, he worked under the principles of take back PNG, so he wanted more for the country. That's what the Prime Minister wanted. So today we, we went and we proved to ourselves that the mine is in operation. It was open physically today and they're operating and also another significant event that happened today was that the old POGRA, the, all the pay of salaries for the staff completed yesterday. And as of today, they're on the salary and the books of the new POGRA which is a significant event. And now we physically saw the trucks are moving. There's been drill, uh, drill, drills in the um, open pit mine and also there's work down at the um, underground mining. MP Maladina explains how the landowners will benefit from the mine. I think it's an, it's an agreement that is it's going to be an internationally recognized agreement that shows that the Papua New Guinea government now has 51%. And in, within that 51%, landowners and provincial government take 15% of the mine, 15% interest in the mine. The most important part of it that most of people in Papua New Guinea don't understand is that out of that 15% that the provincial government and the landowners, the S SML owners and the LNP owners around the mine site, they take, um, they take dividend and they take royalties up front. So they don't pay any um, money back to the um, startup cost that the, um, the um, national government does with, the, with its 30 36% interest, the 15% goes directly to the landowners when the first gold comes out and is sold. Mr. Maladina acknowledges the Prime Minister for making sure the mine reopens successfully. Malinta Yopolo, National MTV News.